going on guys welcome back and uh got parts so last video i talked about the logo motorsports alternator kit the run with the ati dampener showed up a couple days after that video and in that video i said that it comes with a bigger pulley i lied it's definitely smaller um yeah basically fits on the other pulley so I was wrong. This probably matches, or it's actually probably smaller than the ATI dampener pulley. Whatever, it's gonna work. So, today we're gonna start with that. Get this stupid alternator back in. Get this pulley on it. It's obviously a lot smaller. So, basically, I mean, I don't think I need to explain this, but I will since I'm doing it. It's pretty easy. That goes on there. It's like a glove. Put your nut, put your nut on, and uh, I don't know, grab an in impact gun and give her a couple ugga duggas because I have no idea what torque spec is. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to give her some ugga duggas and call her a day. Alright guys, so here we go, the alternator is in, belt is on and tight, it goes down around our ATI dampener and uh, it's actually a pretty good fit and uh, yeah, alternator is tight, which I'll have to loosen it again, um, the reason being is we're still wiring up the car and I gotta get this power wire, so the reason that I have this 4 gauge wire sitting here right now is because we need to build a power wire that goes directly from the alternator back to the battery. Now originally I was going to run this wire from the fuse box to the alternator power wire which is what is from factory. The reason I can't do that is because NHRA rules you have your kill switch on the back has to shut down everything and if I were to wire it right back into the fuse box the alternator would keep the car running after you kill pot battery power because it, the alternator is feeding back into itself. So, to eliminate that problem, you take a power wire directly from our power stud right there on the top of the alternator and run it directly back to the positive post of the battery. And then, if you look, you're on the shut off switch one side goes can you shut the fuck up to the battery here which is where our power wire from our alternator will go and that just goes to one side of the switch on the other side is everything else so here we have our fuel pump wires plus our cable going to the starter that's on the other side of the switch so that way when I flip this thing off, it'll kill all power to the car. And it won't keep running, the fuel pumps won't keep running. So say we were to get in a car, like say, say it was rolled this thing down the track and it started on fire and there was flames because the fuel pumps were spitting fuel out. Okay, maybe that's a little dramatic. Um, but that way it kills power to the fuel pumps is when they run up, flip the switch, all power is dead on the vehicle, which is the reason why <sighs> you got to run that from the alternator all the way to the battery. But I'm waiting on the ends. UPS hasn't showed up yet. So here we are. And uh, here we got some negative cable so that uh, we can make a ground wire from our alternator over to our fancy little ground 
I'm telling you guys, I never have the light on me when I need it. But down here you can see there's a negative post and a positive post right there. And the positive basically is coming straight back from the switch to our starter. It's just there in case I need to add any auxiliary power or anything up front here because I don't have a battery up front. I don't have to run wires all the way back to the battery or raw power from something else. And then we just did the same with the negative. So I'm going to run a negative cable from the case of the alternator to that stud so that the alternator is also grounded. Um, but I'm waiting on the ends to show up for the ground wire as well. And then if there's enough extra, I'm also going to make a ground wire from the valve cover to our chassis. I already earlier today made a ground from the transmission to the chassis. So that's all good to go. Um, for the most part, the power wiring is basically almost done, guys. Uh, just waiting on UPS to show up. And yeah, so in the meantime, go over some of this other stuff I got done. Uh, the gauges are all wired up now. Power's wired up. Uh, I believe I wired these two into the radial wiring here. Um, and the air, f or our, yeah, our wideband, I wired into, uh, well, I don't know where it went, but the windshield wiper plug. I figured this thing's not gonna have a wiper motor because race car, so. I just took the power from the, that would normally go to the wiper motor and just rerouted that, cut the, or I cut the wire and wired the wide band up to that. So easy power. We also have our CD7 is now wired to power down here where the power outlet, where that would be powered up at. Um, I just robbed the power from that for the CD7. And down here in this rat's nest, we've got everything, everything soldered in, um, everything spliced in for our wideband, our boost solenoid, um, and all of that. Everything is wired in. It should be right. Hopefully it's right. We won't find out for a little bit until this thing's actually running, but there's that. So that's kind of what I've been busy on. Uh, just... <laughs> Trying to get all of this random stuff like, um, well, see, I got the bone is now welded and our O2 sensor for our wide band is now going into our uplight. Uplight, got that back on the manifold. Eventually I want to wrap this thing. Actually, I want to get ceramic coated. I think I've said that in the past, but I thought about wrapping it for now. I just installed it, whatever. Um, charge piping, charge piping is a big thing that needs to get done. Still working on details on that, but um yeah that's pretty much it so i'm kind of on kind of on standby today until ups shows up so um i instead of me yapping this whole time i'm just gonna do a uh video on installing my rear diffuser and uh get this thing done get the bumper on the rear bumper on the car so yeah I'm gonna basically get to working on this thing. All right, so the first thing I wanna do with putting this thing on is obviously find center, because um, I want it centered on the rear bumper, you know, so it doesn't look like it's trash and it's way over here, and it's way over here, or, you know, it's like stirred up and down or something stupid. Anyways, um, so I what I did is I used all these little holes because there's like, two, four, six, there's eight of them. And then, so these two are directly in the center. So I knew the center of that, it's gotta be the center of the bumper, right? So I measured how many inches it was from this hole all the way over to this hole. And it was like 52 and a quarter. So I figured the middle of this has to be 26 and an eighth inches. So we've got our mark here. And I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make basically a straight line off of that up to the top of the bumper. Now I'm not gonna obviously draw on it with a Sharpie. I'm gonna use some painter's tape and, and make a straight line and measure out a straight line so that we know exactly where dead center is. Um, and then we can kind of go from there on getting this centered 
on the bumper and then we just have to make sure that it's centered up and down um, because we already know left and right it's center so I'm gonna get some tape and get this thing centered and then we'll go from there. So I got it all marked up here. Um, as ex I will explain how I fall in left and right, divine up and down, which you might have seen in the time lapse, probably hard to see. But I just used this little ridge here and then took actual measuring tape. Just like so. And put it right against that ridge and then held the tape down flush and then measured to the top. Right there is basically 53 and a half inches. Just did that on both sides. Here, if we look here, there we go. Basically right at the top there, 53 and a half inches. So it's pretty close. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I want it to be, you know, close. So it's close. So next thing I'm gonna do, just grab a probably a Sharpie and I'm just gonna trace these out. And then we'll drill some holes and then probably either use a Dremel. Actually, I don't even know if I'll drill holes. Either I'm gonna use a Dremel to cut them out or I'm gonna drill holes and use a jigsaw to cut them out. But I haven't really decided on that yet. But for now, I'm gonna get them marked up and then make my decision. And then we'll just go ahead and get this stuff cut out. And then I also need to mark all of my holes for my bolts all the way around. So I'll go ahead and do that and then, yeah.
guys. Well, I got the bumper done and on. All right, so bumper's done. It's on the car. The fuser's on. Took a little bit. I made a giant mess out here in the process of all of that that I needed to now clean. But it's on and I got the parachute mount cut out and that little beauty plate put on with all those rivets um, So yeah, last thing I need to do with the rear bumper is put the clips in but I don't remember where I put them So I gotta figure out where they're at And uh, that'll be it rear bumpers done it's on and in the middle of that this happened So yeah, UPS guy finally showed up. So finally got all my uh, four gauge copper lugs. So I finally made these, but it is now dark outside and it is like pushing eight o'clock and I haven't eaten dinner. So I think I'm gonna clean up my disaster in this garage and go inside and eat and then reconvene on this thing like tomorrow or Sunday or something. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like smash the or smash the like button and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, you guys are ready to hear this thing run? Because I am too. I keep saying that every video. I promise we're getting closer. It's just a few more things. But yeah, I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys in the next next video. So enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you. See you in the next one. Peace. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade. All right, guys, so I'm out here at the salvage yard, which is, you know, cool. There's a lot of cool just walking around the imports trying to find parts for the uh, for the race car. And uh, this has got to be a first because I've never been to a junkyard before that gives you a, a whip to drive around to find the car you're looking for. So let me get back in here, go to the next import spot and see if we can find this Civic. On the car. So that's cool. I'll just come back here and take a look at this bumper. It looked really clean in the photos. Tell us it's been sitting here for a while. I mean, just got some chips, some paint chips and whatnot. And paint kind of shit on it, but other than that, I mean, hell, half the body panels in that car ain't perfect, anyways, so. Who cares, really, right? As long as it ain't cracked and broken like the old one. I don't know why they just put a piece of wire through it, but there's that. 